What's up guys, Ian here, coach of your Ladner Lantern, bringing you guys our week, what week is this, week 9 uh, team builder, taking on Cade Miele Latios. Um, he's undefeated so far this season, I'm, I should have double checked this before I started recording, but I'm pretty sure his differential's right, let me just double check. I believe he should be 8-0, no, plus 32, to my knowledge, uh, that should be his record, and I'm stalling for time while I check this. Uh, yeah, I'm right. Okay, <laughs> I was right the whole time, so it was unnecessary. His team consists of Zygarde 50%, Volcarona, Aloma Mola, Delmize, Registeel, Garbodor, Mega Niancy, Zapdos, Cryogonal, Crawdon, and Sock. Priority-wise, he's got a Zygarde with Extreme Speed, Cryogonal with Ice Shard, Crawdon with Aqua Jet, um, Hazard Setting in Registeel with Stealth Rocks, Garbodor with Spikes and Toxic Spikes, and Mega Niancy with Stealth Rocks. Removal options in Volcarona with Defog, Delmize with Rapid Spin, Zapdos with Defog, Cryogonal with Rapid Spin and Defog. Four times weaknesses in Zyger to Ice, Volcarona to Rock, and Deancey to Steel. I am covering all of those this week. I'm not expecting Delmize, Garbodor, or Sock to come. I think those are the least likely. Everything else seems very likely to me. Uh, Cryogonal in particular kind of walls a lot of my team. Um, so that's like a big issue that I have to deal with. Mega Deancey is a massive offensive threat, so is Volcarona, so is Zygarde. Uh, so I gotta deal with all those. Crawdon is a very sneaky offensive threat. Um, I'm not super sold on it just because Whimsicott is like a really good Zygarde answer and a Crawdon answer. So uh, again, I'm not, I'm not super sold on that. Whimsicott does have an all right matchup here. Um, I wasn't necessarily comfortable just clicking Subseed over and over and over again. Although it's definitely a viable strategy, uh, I opted into a more defensive style of play this week uh, than Troll, which is what that would be. Uh, Mega Deancey also cucks that Wim's Cut, so there's not a whole lot of ways around that. Um, yeah, so that, that's the main thing here. Uh, you'll notice I'm not bringing Entei for the first time, like, ever. I'm actually pretty sure Entei's come to every single ma- oh no, it didn't come against Magic. Uh, so it's not the first time it's not coming, but Entei has been sort of a staple of the team. We're not bringing it. Bring back Tentacruel and Bronzong, both of which haven't seen very much action lately. This is very. This could very well be a potential playoff matchup. So I'm not bringing the best team I could ever bring, and I'm not bringing the worst team I could ever bring either, just because I'm still in the hunt to make playoffs. Cade has clinched for playoffs already. If he beats me, he clinches his division, and I believe also first place in the conference. So... Um, if he wins, this is going to be a very relaxing end of the season for him, and I kind of wish we would have played him in the next three weeks instead of this week. Um, let's just put it that way. Also, the free agent transaction deadline has come and gone, and we didn't drop anything, even though I wanted to, so um, hats off to that, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to change that a little bit. There we go. First up is Bronzong. I'm bringing an Aquaberry Bronzong so that I'm not set up fodder for the Volcarona with Rock Slide to Revenge of course as well, and I'm also not uh, walled by the DNC. Not that he would imagine me to be, but I've got Earthquake for that as well. Toxic to wear down his walls if I can get a Toxic off. Um, also, I wanted Earthquake to hit the Garb Door and the DNC. Whew, excuse me. And the Registeel. I didn't want to be walled by the Registeel. Um, I could have brought a Psychic move, but Registeel would have just walled me anyways. So at least this way I can trade rocks with them. Uh, and rocks to me seem more valuable against his team than they do against mine, especially because I have a spinner that I'm likely bringing. And one of his spinners is weak to rocks. The other one I don't expect to come. The reason I don't expect Delmize to come is because I've brought Entei so much. And Entei, okay, I'll be real with you guys. Entei doesn't have an awful matchup this week. Like his banded Entei switch in is only a Loma Mola. And I can take advantage of that with um, with Rotom Frost and Mega Latios and Wim's Cut and things like that. So... I kind of think he would, like, I kind of feel like he would bring, he, okay, Alomomol is definitely coming for Entei, and that's kind of the strategy there, so I can maybe play around that, and we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I don't have the best ways to deal with it, so again, we'll see, but, jeez, I'm yawning, uh, already with the yawning, <laughs> that's kind of the strategy there. Tentacruel, oh, yeah, uh. I mean, I don't really need to explain the Stealth Rock or Spadaff or whatever, but Aquaberry means that I live Volcar on ahead. Shookaberry, Tentacruel, bring another Resist Berry. I'm actually slapping on Resist Berries a lot this week just because I don't like the matchup a whole lot, and that's one of the strategies in a matchup you don't like is slap on a Resist Berry so you can claim a... Like, you basically get a surprise kill that you weren't expecting to get, so that's what I'm going with here. 
Tentacruel max speed speed ties with the Volcarona and the Zapdos, and it lets me outspeed the Zygarde 50%. Um, I'm two-shotting with Ice Beam, so I'll outspeed it. I'll live a hit with the Shookaberry, and then I'll be able to kill it with with two Ice Beams. So I, I can't switch in on it, but it's a reliable way to beat it otherwise. Um, Haze is for the Volcarona, and then I've got Scald as well for the Volcarona, and, you know, whatever else needs to be Scalded. Not a whole lot, but, you know, Mega Deante. Rapid Spin! Uh... Excuse me. Especially if he tries to Hazard Sack me with Garbodor. I don't know if he would. If he sees Tentacruel, he's probably not going to collect T-Spikes of all things. And honestly, T-Spikes against my team don't do shit. Especially against the team that I'm bringing right here. They do actually nothing. Um, well, no. I shouldn't say that. They poison the Kinkelder. But Bronzong's immune. Rotom Frost is immune. Torn's immune. Latias is immune. Tentacruel's immune. And if I was bringing Guts Kinkelder, you don't want to set up T-Spikes. So, the variables go either way. <laughs> but I think they go in my favor in that case. This is what Tentacruel is. That's the whole set. Rotom Frost and bring Electrium Z uh, again, sort of. It's just kind of a nuke for the Alomomola, and I don't think you ever switch in Zygarde on Rotom Frost. So Electrium Z seems pretty free here, just as a big nuke against anything. Um, that's kind of my thought process, at least, is that you would never switch in your four times weak Mon to Ice against an Ice type. It, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. Even if he predicts me to be like Scarf or something, it's still doesn't really change anything. Um, so Blizzard for the Zygarde and the Delmize and the Zapdos. And then we've got uh, Thunderbolt Volt Switch on there, just a really good combo. I I'd like some Volt Turn going on here. And then Pain Split to get HP back. Originally I was Life Orb, so I wanted Pain Split for, for those purposes. Uh, I'm outspeeding Sock with the Speed Investment, Max Special Attack, and I put the rest into Defense, just because I don't see it mattering against the DNC or the Volcarona, and DNC's kind of more likely to click Diamond Storm against me anyways. I think at least I I hope I hope he clicks Diamond Storm, because then I get the defense. I don't know. Um, Torn, I'm bringing no item Torn with Acrobatics. I'm kind of hoping he doesn't see that and doesn't expect it to come out, but I didn't really want an item this week. Uh, Defog to get rid of his hazards as well if he wants to bring them again. Uh, U-Turn just for the Volturn. Iron Tail for the Mega DNC, and Acrobatics does a crap load of damage to a lot of stuff. Registeel hard walls me. So what I can do is I can U-turn on it into my Kinkelder and claim a kill, essentially. Uh, that's kind of what it is, except for the Zapdos being around. That's kind of what it is. Um, Zapdos is a big problem, and actually, now that I'm thinking about it, Zapdos is a big problem. So I'm going to change this to Protective Pads, and we're going to change Acrobatics. Is there another physical flying move? Damn, really? That sucks. <laughs> I don't know what to put here as the attacking move now. I'll have to change this and I'll get back. I'll, I'll, I'll fix this and I'll talk about it in the battle, I guess. Um, but I'm not going to run with acrobatics with an item, obviously. And I don't necessarily see myself getting my protective pads knocked off. But uh, with protective pads, I can U-turn on the Zapdos without getting paralyzed by static. So that's really important. Enough speed on the Torn to outrun Mega Deancey. Uh, max attack, max speed, or sorry, a little bit of HP. From Keldor, I'm bringing Roselli Berry to live a hit from the Mega Deancey, and the Drain Iron Punch boosted Drain Fist from Adamant should be able to kill it, I'm hoping. I have Ice Punch on there for the Zygarde and the Delmize, potentially, if I can't, you know, beat it with a knockoff, especially if it's a Cold Berry, but knockoff gets rid of a ton of useful items, and then Mock Punch is there just as a reliable-ish way to deal with the Chronaut. Um, you know, can kill her, especially with max HP can kill her. Uh, my defense and my HP are so relatively high that even a plus one Aqua Jet or a banded Aqua Jet isn't doing that much to me if he's afraid of the Mach Punch. And if he doesn't go for it, then Mach Punch is going to do a crap load back, if not kill. Um, because I am, you know, Iron Fist boosted and I'm adamant. So that's can kill her. And the last one, at least, is Megalodios. This is our general win con, I guess you could say. Calmine, T-Bolt, Roost, Psychic. I opted to go Psychic over Ice Beam. I ran some calcs and Psychic was doing a lot of damage to stuff. It two shots the DNC with no special attack investment. Because um, my I think believe my special attack goes up to 130 when I'm Mega. So Psychic is pretty useful in Mega form uh, against the Mega DNC. And I should be speed tying the Mega DNC. So as long as I can win at least one speed tie in the 1v1 against the Mega DNC, Moonblast shouldn't be able to kill me. It should not be able to one-shot me and Psychic will two-shot him. So 
there's a scenario where I can get away with that. Uh, you know, I'm not doing a lot to the Zygarde 50. And I really don't have a good check to the Zygarde 50. Now that I'm looking at the team, I actually don't have any checks to the Zygarde 50. So let's just hope and pray that he doesn't bring it. Let's be real. Let's just hope he doesn't bring it because of the Whimsicott. I have no idea what he's going to do. I don't have a lot of faith in myself for this game, if we're being honest. Like, he's another undefeated team. I know I took down Jed, but Jed was a much easier for matchup for my team to handle. This team is kind of just a bunch of fat and then threats that I can't handle with my team, the way that it breaks down. And I'm really regretting not dropping Whimsicott and not coming back to this and remembering that I need to drop Whimsicott because having a better Mon in that slot or, like, getting rid of Whimsicott and Tentacruel and picking up a better water and a better grass would have probably benefit my team a little bit more. There were a bunch of waters sitting in tier 3 that I could have grabbed, and I, I done fucked it. Um, done fucked it by the end of the season. So, you know, it's still looking very likely that we're going to make playoffs at this rate, and I'm still going for the division, but um, I think I can afford to lose to the undefeated team, I hope. It, it just means my next three weeks will be a little bit harder. So, uh, in terms of what I didn't bring, Whimsicott, again, I honestly didn't even think about it until this team builder, but Volcarona seemed like too big, of, too big of a threat to me, as well as Registeel being a pain in the ass. Otherwise, Whimsicott does look pretty nice here, actually. Um, it seems fairly obvious that the Zygarde will have Sludge Wave on it, and it seems fairly obvious that the Sock is going to have Poison Jab. Besides that, you know, go from there. Diggersby looked great besides the Zapdos, and I'm not about getting paralyzed. Um, Entei, again, Aloma Mola was the thing stopping Entei from coming. Deancey... Uh, does not look good in this matchup. It's slower than Crawdon, which is a problem. Um, Delmize eats hits and does a shitload back. Zygarde sets up on it. Not necessarily for free, but it can set up on it. Uh, and Pangoro was a problem, especially against Mega Dancy. Good fairies just kind of beat Pangoro. Uh, and Sock was a problem. Volcarona was set, like, I was set up fodder for Volcarona. I got paralyzed by the Zapdos. You know, various things along there. Um, uh, it's not going to be the easiest matchup for him ever. I don't believe that he's going to have the easiest time building for this, but we'll see how it plays out. That's really all there is to it. So that's enough for me, guys. I will catch you guys later for the match.